All right, so for today's video, we'll do something a little different. Channel member SE requested this show, and SE, I tried to get with you to say that I already had a recap of this show. I actually did a dinner and a movie live stream recap as well as this recap we're looking at on the screen here. And I thought I would just go back through this. We'll watch it, and um, maybe I'll give some commentary, let you know if there's anything glaringly different. If I have any huge blunders on the whiteboard, look, I might get totally cringed out watching myself and just abort this whole thing. So, all right, here we go. Fish, Hampton, October 20th, 2013. Boom. Well, let's just get right into Hampton, October 20th, 2013 for Stash Fan. Long time fan of the channel, new member of the channel, getting this request in. I think we got a little dinner and a movie action here, and... Sadly, this was a time, you know, back in the day when I had checked out on fish. This was probably also around the time where there was some buzz brewing and I was uh, back in, you know, 10, 11, and 13. I just wasn't there for a lot of it live. And look, you know, for 10, 11, and 13, what about 2012, dude? What happened? All right, so there's the first big mistake. I misspeak a lot. It's not as easy as it, you would think. All right, we'll continue. I was uh, back in, you know, 10, 11, and 13. I just wasn't there for a lot of it live. And look, you know, for as great of a show as this was, this was not, you know. I'm always talking about, you know, for most people, you're probably like, what are you talking about? Julius is a great opener. I just don't like those two songs, really. And, you know, the rest of the night, there was, there was really basically not a song that I don't like. Similar to the show I did the other night from 09, you know, an average show probably made more, uh, more good Made more good because uh, I really like the song. I think they played like 20 God. songs that night, like 17 of them. This I, guy's like, idiot. Yeah, I would listen to these just for funsies at times, you know? Yeah, Julius and good. Funky Bitch, man. I ain't never listen to those for funsies. All right, so back on the train, certainly I will. Got a little Jean Pierre tease in there. Trey, I felt like we got a little bit more of that in 46 days. You know, that is one of Trey's favorites. And, uh, you know, if you don't know that song well, if you're like me, I, I had to really listen to it over and over again. There's a good version on YouTube. Just listen to the first minute or two over and over again a couple of days in a row. And then when Fish is back at the sphere, you'll hear it, man. Trey will do it. Then we get a Roses Are Free. And then right here at the end of Roses Are Free, uh, Kind of like what we might get in a first set now. Like they're playing Roses, and then we get a little bit of a jam there where they drift off and play around with it. And uh, while Trey was kind of kicking ass to out here, you know, sampling a jar, I feel like that's when, when Trey's really feeling himself, you know, all over, even down low, we get a sample in a jar. Just get You know, I say that a lot, when Trey's feeling himself, and then I make some kind of odd sexual reference to him physically feeling himself. You know, all over. Even down low, we get a sample in a jar, just giving him a chance to show off there. Ginseng Sullivan, one we don't get a lot. The 46 days, that's where I felt like maybe there we got a little more, uh, a little more Trey, Miles Davis. And that's a pretty good hair length on me, if you don't mind me saying. If I can crit critique my own looks. And I got some thoughts on this Piper coming up. What in the hell? Why is the lowercase r the biggest letter in the word, man? What's going on? Then a divided sky, you know, Paul, you could have slammed a green tea and had a cliff bar during this divided sky. And the, the beginning section is usually what's going to make or break me. You know, there's always going to be the cool part in divided sky, but that kind of complex beginning there, if it's not good, you know, I'm kind of out. I'm like, that's it. Come on, guys. It's your song. You know, I, I wouldn't say they nailed this one, but it was very good, especially for a 2013 and then a Bold as Love cover that we don't get as much as hope, wish I wish we would. <sighs> kind of forget that that's a cover, you know, if I'm saying, if I said those are two of their songs I don't like. <clears throat> All right, Paul and Silas, you know, got a little fan shout out. We had some fans dressed like Waldo. Trey suggested maybe they were jailhouse boys, you know, and uh, turns out they were, in fact, Waldo, but we still got our Paul and Silas. So a little fun there, and then, oh, my God, basically just do that afterwards. I mean... The tweezer had points or not a lot of this in early 3.0 or all. Normally it was just like Trey's going off or Paige. You know, it was like each guy individually could do some shit. But this one, man, all four guys just hitting it together early on in the tweezer. And then Paige and Mike kind of get together for this, like, I don't know, like the little futuristic, like, kind of sci-fi sound. And then, um, you know, it kind of ended with, like, a what's the use deal. And then after the page and Mike kind of thing, you know, it, it got a little, they tried to get dark and heavy a little bit, the three of them. And then Paige is over here. We got pretty Paige along with some dark and heavy rest of the band. It, 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 it worked out nicely, though. Then we get into Golden Age. 
first half of Golden Age, just really funky Golden Age. Fishman on the Lumina at points in Golden Age. I'd say the last few minutes, though, as we led into the Piper, maybe, uh, you know, like, all right, if there was any part that was like, the, you know, that wasn't the best, it was probably, probably not the play. Never mind. Then we got into a Piper, which doesn't take a long two, two and a half minutes in. They're smoking this one, and then we start hearing a little taking care of business, you know, and the taking care of business wasn't great. It felt, but the, the transition taking care of Piper into it was absolutely <clears throat> great, you know. They, uh, I don't know if they've ever played it again. It was the first time they ever played it, and then uh, we get back to business. And this is the point, you know, they could have played like Waste, Possum, Susie Greenberg here, you know, Sand, Slave 2001 is what we got instead. That came out a little weird, you know what I mean? It felt like I was going to go through it. I was going to go through another trio <laughs> of bad songs or songs I wouldn't want to hear here. So this final third of the show. For the record, I like 82% of the songs that they play live on a regular basis. So it can kind of make or break it. And then again, while it was different than this, the 2001, it didn't go too crazy. <laughs> Sam, uh, man, it was like uh, Trey and Paige were so locked in at one point on the sand. It was like, who's leading this sucker, man? It was awesome. Then we get into Slave to the Traffic Light, just saying goodbye, putting a cap on just an absolutely wonderful night. Although we still got an encore, I wouldn't even care if there was no encore. We were owed a Tweezer reprise, though, and we got a day in the life in there. Another good cover. So we got some good covers tonight. Forget about Funky Bitch, Golden Age. Oh, that's another one. You almost forget that that's a cover, you know? It's the only thing they had in common on this night. Guys. <laughs> Ain't oh. that the truth? 2001, also, look at that. Three songs. 2001 feels like a fish song. Golden Age feels fishy. Funky Bitch feels fishy. All right, so that's that. That's what we got. Silence, huh? Well, thanks to those guys. You know, there was, there were some bros up front during this tweezer. Woo, there's video. Yeah, there's video, man. You can check it out. All right, guys. <laughs> boom, we are out of here. Stash fan, good recommendation. It's probably like I like this guy. Time. This was a good recap. I'm actually happy. Normally, yeah, I, I, I can't even sit through one of my own recaps, but I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm talking over it. <clears throat> um... Well, yeah, that's a pretty good recap. Other than and the whiteboard looks pretty solid too. Golden Age looks excellent. Uh, G, hmm. I don't know if I could re. I don't know if I could uh, copy that G or not. But actually, it's not a bad capital G. But that the lowercase G nailed it. The E, giving birth to Piper. I don't understand. Maybe I did big, small, big, small, big. Why is that little R so big, man? I can't get Piper right. I've gotten so much better at these whiteboards, but I just cannot nail Piper. It's one of my favorite songs, too. If you've ever seen F Zappa 20's 13 favorite fish songs, that's a video here on YouTube. All right, channel member SE. I'm going to start calling you Southeast just because it's a lot easier. Those letters S and E back to back aren't, aren't fun for me. All right, SE. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for the request. And uh, boom, we're out of here. You guys, wish me luck. Good luck, good bowling. I don't know why you need. You don't need to wish me luck. Everything's all good. Richard Allen, guilty. Boom, we're out of here. How do I stop this? Oh, shit, we're over here. <laughs>